everybody, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our week ahead. So, I was just reviewing my last week ahead video before starting this one. Boy, oh boy, how'd everybody like that squeeze we have this last week? <laughs> I don't know about you, but that was uh, pretty intense. All right, let's see what this week has in store. So, I wrote out my spread, and I laid some cards out, and I took some notes, so I'm going to share with you what I got for this week. Uh, in the news, um, I got some kind of disruption. Um, working on something, here's what I wrote, working on something causes disruption or separation, having to fix something related to production or power, the need to decide how to fix, how to move forward. Um, it's like I got the, the, the sense of needing to fix something that's down so that it can be rebooted and restored and everything is happy again. So not sure exactly what that's referring to. I don't know if it's like if the power goes down in some areas or if there's some type of infrastructure thing. If it's that or if it's something else related to something going down and needing to be fixed. But I got kind of a perplexing sense with it, like like the fix is like, what do we do? How how? What's the best way to fix this long term? And again, I don't know if this is a regional thing. Um, hopefully, it's not like globally, because that would be that would be really bad. But um, it, it could be like an area thing. So maybe it's just one area that's going to be kind of making the news about something that that needs to be fixed um, and almost like redone or repatched or rework around or something. So I know that sounds a little vague. Um, sorry if that's a little too vague for some, but that's what I was getting, something like that. Okay, um, I also got for kind of what's happening this week when I kind of tuned into that question, um, I got this, the, the picture in my mind of like a boardroom and the sense of like um, like regulatory type of atmosphere to it. And it feels like there's going to be something coming out like new guidance, new regulation uh, ideas put forth on, say, I'm just going to throw this out there as an example. So this is probably not literal, but something like, 10 steps to avoid misinformation. Is something like coming in that wants to um, provide guidance, and but it feels like it's it's a little sterile, um, almost like it it's a little artificial. So I don't think it's gonna be completely based in authentic truth. Uh, so some gaslighting could be involved with it. So just be aware of that. Okay, that's kind of the things I was sensing. So, uh, so disruption in the news. Um, okay, so over the political realms, I was sensing like, um, like timing and being weary. This is the card for it. I'll just show you the Four of Swords on political. I got kind of the sense of action needing to be taken, but yet response is lacking. And partly because I got the feeling of like being overwhelmed or tired or just plain la lack of energy, lack of drive to get whatever needs to be done, done. So politically there could be a, des a, 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 there could be a need to get things done or push for action and then almost like a lack of response. So I don't know how that energy is going to play out politically, but we may see one side or some people pushing for something and another side being like dragged along like they're just not interested. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, okay, third is um, the economy, economic news. Now interesting on this, I've got the judgment card. This is a card of kind of finality. Um, things coming in that are big, some type of, I don't know if it's global, it could be like in certain areas more than others, but 
some type of shift global um, but it has to do with with things being done or final wrapping something up so I get the sense with economically speaking that there needs to be a boost or something to come in to jump start get things moving kind of like a shot in the arm sorry to use that analogy with everything going on but it needs a little something it needs a boost and I feel like if it if it doesn't get that boost that there that this is kind of a the judgment card can be really harsh the energy of it it's like okay this is your final call to do the right thing to get things moving in the right direction if you don't the end results not going to be very pleasant so related to the economy there needs to be action stimulating the economy to help it move along um, whether that's breaks for businesses helping businesses grow getting out of you know helping them expand helping them hire um, that there's got to be some movement on that um, otherwise uh, this the alternative is is kind of like a, a finality or an end so it's not as good unless there's some something to really step it up and perk things up okay uh, number four so society uh, I got the justice card on society um, to me this card justice fairness looking for a, an equitable solution to a problem whether it be through courts literally through courts or whether it's just the idea of fairness but uh, it seems to me that people are looking for justice and fairness to prevail I feel like there's new ideas coming in in terms of society um, that is kind of forward thinking it's a little outside the box what I'm sensing is society's kind of locked into option A or option B um, and not a lot of wiggle room to think outside the box to come up with different ideas and this feels as though that there's something that is wanting to come in like people are wanting to bring in new ideas for expansion something that would help um, society move forward uh, in a better way and it is actually a higher thing coming in I don't know if this is a a mindset that's coming in or a new thought or a new creative idea coming in to help but it's like we're, we're getting out of this black and white a and b and needing to bring in something new with it and i i know i'm sorry if that's really vague i'm trying to see if what i can explain what i'm what i'm sensing is just a sense or a feeling so i'm trying to put words to what i'm sensing and that's basically it is society's wanting to there's there are people or aspects of society wanting to break out of the mold a little bit and and not just do A or B, but there's option C, D, E, F, G, and on. There's other ways to do a thing, not just you have to be this or that. You can, there's more options on the table. And I think there could be groups, um, there could be factions of groups that are saying, we want, we want these alternatives. We want to do this, this, and this, while maybe things right now it's like everybody's going but we're going down these two two roads and they're like no we want to do this over here so somebody is wanting to interject something new um, that's maybe opening people's minds a little bit to be open-minded and not just be narrowly focused on well we've always done this this we can't have any other options on the aspect of what's hidden um, I have the three of wands this is a card of opportunity um, taking an opportunity and I, I it's right next to that justice card and I do sense there's something and uh, it possibly is in a foreign land what I was just talking about with a group that's wanting to do something new or different um, foreign meaning I'm in the United States I think it's elsewhere 
but it's a, it's a group or a mindset that's coming in that's doing something new and different, challenging kind of where we're going. And it seems to really be, I, I think a lot of people are going to buy into this. I don't know what it is. But it feels, it feels good in terms of, of it has a lot of buy-in. And I think, I think I, I get the sense with it that people are going to, um, it's like bypassing this, here we're on this road and we're driving down this road, society. And these other people are like, we're going over here. And, you know, people driving the car, no, we're going this way. <laughs> And there's an opportunity, and it's from a far-off land. So this could be Europe, this could be France, this could be somewhere over there, from my perspective here in the U.S. Uh, but there's something new. It could be Germany. People are going a new direction, and it's going to take up steam. It's going to go full bore. Um, whatever this is, and I, I think it's just got its like new beginnings this week. So we may see this play out into the future, okay? It may not all come up in the next seven days, okay? I, I do my week ahead video, but sometimes things spill out several weeks into the future. So it just kind of depends on the energy of the thing. But there's energy behind this, whatever this is. And this is, I think it's positive. Uh, it's either positive or... Or there's a, there's a lot of people that feel like it's a positive thing and want to move in that direction. So that's what's, that's, that's hidden for now. That's under the hidden and it's also under society. So I think we're going to see both of those. Okay. Um, all right, number six. We have the give and take card coming out on what is out in the open this week. When I looked at this card, I got a lot of stuff coming in with it. Um, I got give and take is out in the open, and I got profits. Um, giving while withholding. I got the sense of, of here's this we're going to give you, but we're withholding something else from you. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's equitable. I'll show you the give and take card in this deck. It's what I call it. It's the Six of Pentacles. But there's something about giving, but also withholding and not, not giving out of a sense of equity and goodwill. It's like giving with the motive of profit, okay? And whenever you get profit as a motive, it never ends good, okay? Uh, it's not a good motive, okay, to have. It's... it's it's fine to be motivated to do something good to earn yourself a living, but sometimes that can turn into greed, which turns out bad. So balance in all things, right? Okay. Um, next is, uh, this number seven is, uh, what is coming into being? I got the sense of what's, what's coming into being, but not here yet, but into the little maybe distant future, kind of what's coming in. And I've got the clutter fighting clutter, using discernment, having to be wise. And this is about fighting back untruths, discernment, getting the clutter out of the way. That is coming. And I think it's related back to this card because I this, this card is actually the way the cards are laying down. And I'll show that to you at the end of the video. But this... Page of Swords is facing back with its sword kind of facing back toward this give and take situation that feels like it's like the motive is for profit and not for people, not for good purposes. And that's going to be coming out and exposed soon. Maybe it's starting to be exposed now, the profit motive. So that's starting to come out. So I think the energy of that's going to continue to build over the next few weeks, I think. Um, last, we have the Ace of Swords, um, the outcome for this week. Now, this is a powerful card of mental force. What I'm sensing with this card, however, is trying to take back something. Okay, as you see, that hand is reaching in. 
with the sword and it's got the crown but yet this this vine this vine is like pulling the other direction and it feels like a like trying to pull something like we're trying to pull back the narrative pull the narrative pull the truth and then this other side is holding on trying to trying to keep the lid on things keep the status quo um, but there's a mental force coming in that is attempting to pull the crown, pull the crown down, um, expose things. Uh, and the, I was kind of left with a question this week. And it was like, will it succeed? And it, it, the answer wasn't yet. So we may see a little bit of the push and pull this week, but whether it's successful is probably going to take a little longer than our week ahead, okay? This could be playing out for several weeks, maybe even several months. And they're all on the bottom line, which is that that give and take, profit motive over people, um, fighting untruths, trying to uncover things, and then trying to take back the truth or expose the truth. Will it be successful? Right now it's up in the air. So that's what I'm getting for this week. So this week is kind of a in between kind of week. That's kind of what I sense with it. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles underneath, the card of abundance. So this is kind of nice. Overall, it's going to be um, probably, depending on where you are, some areas are going to be better than others, but there's, a, there's the underlying theme of abundance, either striving to maintain abundance, to have abundance, to keep things flowing in a helpful manner for people, for society, trying to do the, you know, find that balance between that dance of that fine line between profit and greed and abundance and lack and finding where that balance is that's really all i can say about it it's like trying to find that balance okay so all right um so that's what i have for this week so we'll see how things turn out uh, i appreciate you tuning in hope you have a wonderful week and uh, we'll catch you next time this has been intuitive edge bye for now <laughs>